All right, I want to uh, just touch on the LME front timing cover uh, that they developed out of a single piece of billet aluminum, which is just beautiful, almost uh, too pretty to hide really behind the front, uh, you know, all the accessories in the front of the engine. Um, but uh, I wanted to make a little video before I put this on my, my Texas Speed Force 16, pointing out the differences between this and the stock um, uh, the stock cover. So uh, the main difference you'll see is this big hole right here in the middle. Um, that is for the uh, variable valve timing actuator to, that mounts in there. And that actuator presses in on the center of the cam bolt. And then that allows this variable valve timing assembly, which mounts to the camshaft, to reduce and retard timing, I believe, three, de three degrees each way. Um, so basically, this LME setup does away with the, in the actuator um, and takes this entire assembly, which probably weighs at least 10 pounds, and that's 10 pounds of rotational mass on that camshaft. Um, and you figure a C5R timing chain, you know, that adds some, uh, some uh, rigidity and, and strength to, uh, to this setup, but reducing that mass of this huge assembly, which is very heavy, um, down to a single LS3 style sprocket, which maybe, you know, weighs a pound, is just genius. Uh, it, is, it is by far, to me, a much better upgrade. Rather than taking this assembly apart and putting a block in there, which essentially locks this, uh, you know, the advanced retard capability of that assembly. Um, so that's, that is a huge upgrade. I believe this is $495. Um, yes, it's pricey, but... Again, it's billet aluminum. It does away with a large amount of complexity and weight uh, off of that variable valve timing assembly. Um, it looks great, and uh, it's also O-ringed, which is nice. Um, you know, the stock assembly uses that GM uh, sealant, which is a little bit of a pain to work with, um, especially cleaning it all off. You can use, uh, you know, sealant remover and all that good stuff, but, um, but having it O-ringed, all the way down to the oil pan is just brilliant. Um, so a very, very nice piece. I, I really like this, it's very well done. Um, and the last thing I wanted to touch on, not related necessarily to the timing covers, but uh, this is the, L, the stock LT4 front main seal. And you'll see that it is a mess. Um, I actually was at Roadwing Road before I had a catch can and learned the hard way that uh, if you do any kind of modifications or run your car hard, get a catch can, evacuate that, the crankcase, uh, the blow-by pressures, because this stock LT4 or Gen 5 seal is just weak. That, that is a weak fail uh, point on these cars, and you can see the difference. Um, it's very flimsy. I upgraded to an LS3. Again, it feels like we're going backwards in time, but... This is an LS3 seal, and I mean, it is much, much tougher. Uh, just a very, it's thicker. You can tell it's just a better made seal. So I'm not exactly sure why the engineers decided this flimsier style was better. Um, I'm sure they had some use case for that. Um, but again, I'm going with the tried and true. Everybody downgrades or essentially upgrades to the LS3 style seal. And it makes uh, a much more reliable seal around that um, pulley assembly. And uh, it gives you reliability. So the only other thing I would say is if you go to this LME um, setup, I would use some seal all and seal this one sensor in. This one sensor here um, over on this side, this one bolts in with a nice O-ring. So it's nice and tight. I feel comfortable with that. No oil leakage, no pressure. Uh, from blow by gases getting out of there, but this one here wiggled a little bit and that's because it uses these tabs Essentially to lock it in place and those tabs are just flimsy plastic tabs So use some seal all do yourself a favor and lock that in place and you'll be good to go um, All right. Yeah, I just wanted to give you a little front shot of that. Look at that beautiful timing cover um, I'm about to get that installed on the engine um, And it's gonna look a whole lot better than that one and I am using, I went ahead and upgraded to some ARP fasteners. 
which is uh, I've done throughout the motor. Um, why not, right? So um, thank you for watching my video. Uh, I'll have a lot more coming, especially with the car running here, hopefully within the next week. Uh, so be uh, subscribe and, and look out for some new videos. Thank you.